had a problem with my microphone for a minute there. Okay guys, so today's video, I'm testing out a bunch of pony effect makeup. If you can hear any background noise, it's because Casper is playing with a toy. Ninja! He's not chatty today. I first got introduced to Pony Effect with the grindable eyeshadows. I think it's a pretty famous video of Tatties. It looks like a grinder for like weed or something. I mean, I've never smoked this stuff, but I know what a grinder looks like. You literally grind it and the eyeshadow comes out of the grinder. So I thought I'd try some stuff. I have an eyebrow pencil, I have a concealer, I have a lipstick, and obviously I have the eyeshadow. So I'm going to put on a little bit of primer, scoot you in, and let's get the concealer on. I am not impressed with Amazon at the moment. I was meant to have a new laptop delivered yesterday. I'm going to leave the house. If they leave a laptop on my doorstep, you can guarantee that's the parcel that gets stolen. And I've actually had a parcel around Christmas be ripped open because people wanted to see what was in it and thankfully because it was just a couple of base products they kind of just left it so I've had to email them to say look I stayed in all day yesterday I've said that if they leave it on the doorstep and it gets stolen I'm not taking responsibility for that that's their fault I'm not too happy right now but anyway I'm going to be doing powder foundation I always do powder foundation on the weekend I just I can't be asked with heavy foundation especially if I'm just going to see my family so I got the pony effect uh, the CoverStay Liquid Concealer. I'm going to test this again, but if it doesn't apply the way I like, because I've tested all these items before, I'll try this again, but if it doesn't give me what I want, I'm just going to put a different concealer over the top. The component's really cute. It has frosted plastic glass. It almost looks like YSL, to be honest. I mean, it's a pretty small component. How many milliliters do you get in here? A flawless cover. Okay. Six grams. With my concealers, I'm wearing powder foundation. Oh, it's got like an angled doe foot. I haven't been dragging it too far out recently. I've been kind of doing the tatty trick where I just kind of blend less further over because I've got really deep set lines I've noticed in the last like couple of months. Um, I'm trying to look into ways of fixing that. <laughs> if I have like a lot of concealer underneath my eye, um, it just makes it look worse. I'm just gonna do what I would normally. I cover up a lot of my acne scars from when I was young. Any kind of problem areas, I put a little bit on my forehead just to kind of like keep everything the same tone. Look how red I am. And then I'm just going to blend this out. I don't think the first time I tried this, I used it as almost like a foundation. I appreciate I'm not actually using this as a foundation, I'm just kind of spot concealing. This is a really good sponge as well. I have tried a lot of the Juno stuff and I was going to do a video about it a long time ago. So I've fully tested out like a couple of brushes and a couple of sponges from them. So if you guys want to see a video on Juno, please let me know. I had one of those makeup days the other week where everything was just going wrong. Literally, my, my concealer was bunching up, so I had to take, literally just completely take my concealer off, but I'd already put my foundation on and powdered. Yeah, look. Oh, this concealer, it looks great to start off with. Look at that. A camera, but can you see it kind of like bunching? It went on so nicely. I've just put a, like one of my normal primers on. Looks okay. And then you give it a second and it starts bunching. Like I can see it bunching a little bit on my cheeks as well. I don't even know if I want to do this. I'm going to try and put a little bit more. It doesn't look like it's covered that well here. Normally when concealers bunch up, like I've been testing a concealer recently, which was really, really, really thick. And when that bunched up, that's the one I had to take off. I have a review on that coming soon. Normally putting more on makes it worse. Because if it's bunching up with a little bit, it'll bunch up even more with, like, more concealer. I mean, that looks brighter at least. Maybe I just need to set it immediately. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm going to use my normal setting powder. So this is the uh, No Filter Setting Powder. I love their new compacts with, like, the actual shade. I think that's really cute. Oh, this is really annoying. Not that bright today, so I haven't got, like, a lot of light to show you. Oh, look at it. It's like a losing battle. Tweety. Look at it. This is what he does every single time. Let me see what it's like just to put a little bit of concealer over the top. I'm using the Cover FX Power Play. I have the shade, oh I forgot to tell you, this Pony FX shade Fair. This is in the shade Fair 2. On oh, my face it doesn't look too bad. I believe my eyes is not good. A little bit of Cover FX over the top and hope this fixes it. Normally I would put Catrice over the top but I've run out and I did an order with Parfume Dreams. I bought a really really light one because they've extended the shade range. And I've also ordered my normal shade because my normal shade's kind of my, my skin tone. Now it looks better. Still bunching a little bit but I think that's because the other conceal's underneath. This looks dry. I take this powder immediately. 
you see how much better that looks? I mean, look, these are the deep set lines I was talking about where I didn't want to put a lot of concealer under there. Sorry, I know I'm looking at the view a lot, but I'm trying to see what you guys can see. Yeah, now my under eyes just look heavy. This is what I'm trying to avoid recently because like I said, this is just aging quite a lot recently. And I don't love that. Uh, are we, why are we in the sink, sir? Catman. The next product is brows. I'm gonna do the rest of my face. And then I'll be back to do the brows and the eyes. Next I have a pencil by Pony Effect. This is the Shaping Brow Definer. Made in Korea. It's 1.5 millimetres. I think that's what it means. My day to day, the Colourpop Brow Boss. Although I have been enjoying powders a lot recently. Which is... Oh. I didn't, re I didn't fix that. Hang on. I'm playing with shaving off the side of my head. Hence, always clipping it back. It's like a navy blue. And obviously has the gold. It has rose gold. It's got a brush at the side it does do the job but I don't feel like it is a thick enough brush to actually brush through your brows when you're trying to deposit the colour. I appreciate that this side is shorter than this side though so you can tell automatically which one's the pencil side and which one's the brush side. Oh, every time I do this all the time with pencils. So that's what the shade looks like. I got mine in the shade dark brown I think. No deep brown. Excuse me. So now I'm going to do my brows. So you can see automatically it deposits colour quite well. I kind of like accidentally broke off the tip. It's a pretty creamy formula. It's not too waxy. I really need to do my brows. It's pretty easy to deposit the colour through your brows. I wouldn't say it's any better or any worse than most other pencils. Yes sir, what can I do? We have a Casper moment. Hi sweetie. What are you doing? Making lots of noises. Yes, you are. Hmm? <laughs> He's so cute. He waited a moment with his mum. Let's speed this up. So that's what my brows look like. I actually really like the pencil, I have been using it quite a lot um, because my Colourpop one is probably going to run out. I will definitely use this up and if I order anything else more from Pony Effect, I think I'll order it again. It wasn't too expensive if I remember rightly. So I'm going to off camera just put some brown eyeshadow in my crease because I have a nice warm tone coppery shade. What are you doing? No. Sir. I just cleaned my sponges, put them out of the way and of course he's trying to nuzzle them. I'm just going to put on some brown eyeshadow in my crease and under my lower lash line and then we'll put on the eyeshadow. Now we get to the fun part, the grindable eyeshadow. This is in Guest List. This is a glitter and sparkle highly pigmented formula. Oh, grind sparkling. It does actually mention this grindable eyeshadow. This has, I'm trying to find a number in between all of the Korean. 12 grams. I think that's a lot. This is what the component looks like. It's black with the like rose gold. I can't tell if it's gold or rose gold. You open it up and it looks like a little grinder turn it and all of this eyeshadow comes out. I'm gonna put my brush in here. How pretty that is. Look how wet looking that is. So metallic. It's not even a bright day today. Really compact kind of brush. I have no tacky base down. I'm trying to brush on one side. I'll try my fingers on the other depending on how well this goes. I'm not really getting much fallout. It's a little bit patchy but obviously because it's a grinded eyeshadow I'm not going into a pressed eyeshadow so I'm kind of getting chunks and things like that, which is understandable. Tip what's in it inside the cap. Some of it's still kind of attached, but that's okay. I put it on my finger. I'll fix the other side in a minute. See if this applies better. I think it applies easier and smoother with your finger. Swipe it. But I will say, if you put too much on, it can kind of look thick. It looks kind of thick in, in this patch here, but that's because I've put too much on. I've got stuff all over my counter. But that happens with any kind of loose eyeshadow or anything like that. You're going to get stuff everywhere. You kind of just need to kind of accept that. I'm just going to smooth it on the back of my hand just so I didn't have so many clumps. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is kind of smooth it on the back of your hand. So I'm always picking it up from my swatch. Kind of have a smooth 
consistent application. It looks 10,000 times better. Okay, so I have a couple smidgen fallout, but again, loose eyeshadows, you kind of have to expect it. Let's sweep through my crease just so I don't have a line. This eyeshadow has started. This is great. I really like this. Yeah, I'm going to do some liner, mascara, and then I have a lipstick to test. The last item is this Powdery Whisper lipstick, and I got the shade Illusion. Look how gorgeous this packaging is. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty lipstick. This was not the shade I expected, first of all. They have like a sweet scent. It almost reminds me of a blood lip. I'm very well aware this shade don't go. It's cute. I think it's definitely more for people that prefer that kind of like, they prefer a bold lip, but not full on bold. I'm a full on bold kind of girl. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and do my mascara because apparently I completely forgot to do that. Playing with my toes. Yeah. Literally sitting in between my feet right now. So my final thoughts on Pony Effect. Their products are a little bit hit and miss. To be fair, I haven't tried out the foundation. Their foundations were like 20 to 30 pounds and I'm not sure if I want to spend that much. I have so many foundations to get through. The lipstick, if you like blotted lips, I think you'd really, really like their formula. It's really comfortable, doesn't feel like anything on the lips. Oh, it also doesn't transfer. I might have to have a look at some different shades. The eyeshadow, oh my God, best like loose kind of eyeshadow it's so easy to apply because of the formula because it's a little bit thicker than like a loose eyeshadow it it takes a second to kind of get used to like i said if you apply it on the back of your hand to get a smoother application on your finger so it's more consistent it's really easy to get such a smooth eyeshadow the brow product really really good i really enjoy it again if i order anything else from pony effect i'd probably end up repurchasing that concealer for the rest of my face, I love those dogs. My across the way neighbors have the most gorgeous huskies. If I'm lucky, I see them leave them to take them for a walk around the park. On my face, it's not too bad. Underneath my eyes, it's that's the second time I've used it and it bunched up. I tried to build it up, didn't work, just made it worse. Um, so I definitely would not use it. That is it for this video. I'm not gonna do a full, wet, full day wear test, but I'll try and leave a note in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please give this a like. Subscribe if you feel like it, I would really, really appreciate it. Please let me know what brand I should try next. I do have Juvia's Place, which I'm gonna be doing very soon. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.